said your name. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck. God. What the fuck? What? <laughs> What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video, man. Hey, if you new, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. Now, today we got Smile from 2022. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good reviews about this movie. I've been hearing a lot of people say that this movie is like, this is like one of a kind, like one on one. And I heard rumors that they're supposed to do a, uh, it was they supposed to do a, um, a sequel to this motherfucker. Supposed to be a sequel, they said. Um, I want to see what happened in this movie for this. For I want to see what happened just for this movie to get a sequel because I felt like because the way in the, in the trailer and the promo and everything, this seemed like a one-off movie, like it, like a one-off scary movie that was it has a perfect storyline, a perfect um perfect everything. You know what I'm saying? To the point where it's like you know what? Where can you take this? Where can you go from this? It's kind of like Truth or Dare, like with, like with Lucy Hale. It's like it kind of like that. Like Truth or Dare was like a one-off movie. Like it didn't need a sequel. I don't know too much about this movie. I don't like the main the main character. She looks familiar. I feel like I seen her in a movie somewhere. I just can't remember where. So we just gonna hop into this reaction. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do too much talking. So if you guys like my reaction, please like the video. You know. Wow. If you guys end up liking my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. It gets me pushed across the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys want to see more videos from me, if you guys want to really get me out there, you guys have to, have to like the video, please. It helps out a lot. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well. And hit that Patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video, man. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Oh, and by the way, I got my snacks. So... We gonna be munching, just so you know. What the hell? Also, I was wondering like, what the hell that horn was in the back. Now nah, this lady is dead out of her mind. I'm guessing looking at the person that smiles kills you or something. Is it like, like is that what it's supposed to be? Nah. That's, that's kind of a fucked up thing to see like your parent like and i'm pretty sure i, I had a feeling the, the little girl is her right here but i'm pretty sure the mom ain't even dead off of like smiling or like being smiled at or whatever i think it's just more like an overdose situation because it is it, i mean it's really what it was because the pills and shit was on the floor so no it was definitely more of an overdose situation but that's crazy he's gonna die she's gonna die mom's gonna die i'm gonna die everybody dies <laughs> What the fuck? I want to know how does this smile thing even happen? Like, where does it come from? Like, what's the source? Like, how, like, how is it born? You know. Also, I know there's people like this. I know there's people like this, but you really gotta have patience for people like this. I just like that's real shit. You gotta have patience for people, for people like this. Cause me, not saying I don't have the patience. It's just more so like I don't know. Like that's not that type of line of work. I couldn't really. Cause I wouldn't know the first thing. I'd be already scared out of my fucking mind because like ain't no telling what these type of motherfuckers might do. If, if it already showed these motherfuckers ain't like all right in the head, ain't no telling what them niggas might do. So it's like, I take precaution in situations like that. I think you're having another manic episode. Don't. Don't you tell me. You don't know. So I'm assuming she's like a, like a, like a psychiatric, oh, I a know psychiatric that nurse. what you're experiencing. A psychiatric feels. nurse. The board is down my throat about paying out of pocket for another bed in the residency program. Maybe the board should try giving a shit about the point of our job here once in a while. Mm. Nah, this nigga look. This nigga look. I mean, he looked the same, just just like just like a little like older, you know. Still look good though. I'm, he was the last nigga I expect to see in here though. I ain't gonna lie. 
Dr. Cotter. How the hell did you hear that from Wade? You had already left. How the fuck did you already, how did you hear that? A professor at her school bludgeoned himself to death with a hammer. Oh my God. She was interviewed as the only witness. A hammer? A hammer is crazy. I'm gonna have to ask you a couple of questions that might sound stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that's why the What day of the week is it? What the fuck? Thursday. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fucking stupid. And the month? October, I'm not crazy. Nobody's saying that. No, but I need you to understand I'm a PhD candidate. I'm not some lunatic. Then what are you saying? Like, you asking some rhetorical ass... I mean, there are some people who probably couldn't answer those questions correctly. You, But they gotta be out of their fucking mind. But come on, bro. Don't, don't do that. I'm seeing something. Something no one else can see except for me. Is it dead people? What happens when you do see it? Shit. Niggas get the tweaking. The worst smile I've ever seen in my life. And whenever I see it, I just get this god awful feeling like something really terrible is gonna happen. Imagine being scared because of a, a person that's smiling at you, especially like a person that she just said her grandfather has been dead since she was seven. If I was to, if I was to see my grandfather, first of all, that I know passed away, to see him again, nigga, I'd be scared as shit. Number one, I'd be happy, but I'd be scared. I'd be feeling really, I'd have mixed emotions for. This number one. Number two, he get to smiling at me and shit. Nah, and like, and like, and the type of smile that she talking about, she say it, it, it wasn't a friendly smile. Nigga, I'll be scared as fuck. Sometimes when we get emotionally overwhelmed or experience an intense trauma, our minds- You're not to listening to me. Oh my God. That's another thing too. Like situations like this, I wish some people can like really take notice of what's going on because if she's, cause she's making it sound real. You know what I'm saying? Like if I was her therapist and she would've came to me and said some shit like that. I would legit, I would try my best to help her. It's like, bro, cause she's making it sound like it's like it's real. You know what I'm saying? I would just like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're just having hallucinations. You just, you just seeing things. They're not real. Obviously, it's not real, but like the situation that's happening is real. But it's like they're trying to, they're, they're gonna like downplay the situation. It's like, bro, I need you to be, I need you to be as aware as possible, cause it's like, my nigga, if I'm telling you what's going on, and and I know it sounds crazy, cause most crazy things. People don't believe until it happens. And it's like, bro, I need you to take take notice take notice of what's going on and help me, nigga. Like, cause you the you the only one that I can come to that's with this information that should that should understand. And she she's not downplaying it, but she's trying to respectfully downplay it, if that makes sense. It's just us, there's nobody else here. Uh, <laughs> she can't see it, but she does. Dead, bro. What the what the fuck? What, wait, where's she at? <laughs> nah, chill out. Oh my, oh my god! Oh no, bro. Oh no, nah, bro. Oh no, bro. I thought she's gonna just cut her face off. <laughs> and she's still smiling? While you're dead, you're still smiling. How the fuck? Is it raining? What the fuck? That's beside the point. Um, no. How the fuck is she? No, bro. What type of source material does this power have for you to still smile after you just killed yourself? Make that make sense. I wouldn't know what to do with I would not know how to act after that situation either, bro. Just seeing that shit. Wait, he in here too? Would you say she was typical of the patient you That's see here? That's crazy. Typical is not really a thing here. Right, but she was a head case, yeah? I'm sorry, a head case? Yeah, really, what the fuck? What the fuck? She could have been suffering from acute post-trauma psychosis. Hell no. She was having paranoid delusions. No, she wasn't. What kind of delusions? She was convinced that some sort of evil presence was haunting her. Yikes. This nigga, like the black nigga is not taking this shit serious at all. And I don't like that shit. Like, you no know way, I wonder, does she have a husband? Or kids?
cat. Okay. No, no, no husband, no wife. I mean, she can be that way too. How do you? Okay, hold up. I'm confused. I'm, I'm asked because the, because she wasn't even that close to her for the blood to even get on her shirt. Like, and then it ain't like the like the blood squirted out her neck after she cut herself. Like the blood just like dripped down, and she was like way over here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Yeah, after that day, I needed I, I drink the whole bottle, nigga. <laughs> you know her mom like. What the fuck? Nah, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> bro. Instant move out. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, packing my boxes and I'm going, bro. You can, hey, you can have the house. Matter of fact, you can have the furniture. Bro, with the money I'm making, you, you can have the furniture, the house. You can have it all. Hey, you pay the rent. You got it. Nigga, <laughs> bro, I'm going, dog. Bro. <laughs> Whoa. What the Everybody's in this fucking movie! But I like it though, so it's fine. A patient died today. My patient. I'm so sorry. What can I do? This is a nice start. You know what I'm Sometimes your woman just wants to be held, you know? I'm just shocked to see him in this movie. Uh, like, like, of all people. Well, while we're on the subject of wasted earning potentials, we could always sell the fucking house. Can we not right now, please? <laughs> I just, I don't understand you. It's literally just sitting there. We grew up in that house. Rose, it's a total teardown. Why not just get the money for the land? Can you guys just shut the fuck up? Oh my God. Obviously, the smile ghost or the ghost of the smile is gonna find a way to get in. Yeah, and also, I was supposed to have a session with Jane Park. Oh yeah, she pulled out a bunch of her hair overnight and swallowed it all. They took her down to medicine to have her stomach. What pumped. the fuck? She pulled out a bunch of her hair and swallowed it. I know it's just a movie, but what the fuck? Whole thing. I just wanted you to know that. When the call came in, I had no idea it was gonna be you. So I'm sorry if that was weird. That's your job. I get it. Did they have something before? It seemed like they had a thing. Way is coming off. It seemed like they had a thing. And she called this thing about his first name. Cause he not know he he he's he's not a relative or nothing. They definitely had something before. You know, like I said, I was on a call nearby and I just, you know, I thought I would come check on you. You do know she's engaged, right? <laughs> I'm single. Get the fuck out of here. I've been just dealing with some stuff. I wasn't being very good company. Nephew's party tomorrow, you could at what least get him up. Bro, what the f Bro, what's going on? And why nobody ain't checked on this nigga? Ain't no way nobody, bro. There is no way nobody ain't checked on this man, bro. Nigga just sitting there. Y'all need y'all y'all gotta do better at this office, bro. Yeah, come on, do better, bro. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. Nah. You're not you're not taking notice of the situation. She's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, Everybody wow. die. Carl, look at me. You're going to die. You're going to die. Take care. Bro, somebody come check on this man, bro, please, though. And the thing is, bro. Thing is, you would think, I think because she kind of knows Carl's situation. She, I don't think she think she thought nothing of like him catching the smile effect. The fact that you kind of didn't take notice is kind of like fucking stupid. I'm sorry, it's stupid because it's like, bro, because this, because 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 the chick you just seen yesterday told you what was going on with her, and it's like she dies. Well, then again, she kind of didn't. She kind of didn't break down the whole thing of how why it happened and how it happened. So you know, so I retract my previous statement. But still, come on, bro. Come on, get it together. You're gonna take a paid week off. Morgan, that's really not necessary. You've been working 80 hour weeks for Damn. months. Just do what you gotta do and come back focused, okay? I mean, she, at least she making money, nigga. 80 hours, 80 hour shifts? I mean, a week, he said? 80 hours a week, nigga, that's money right there, nigga. <laughs> Shit. So she like into trains and stuff like that? No, nigga. No. Okay, well, if you can't make it to your nephew's party tomorrow, you could at what least get him a present. If you need an idea, he's really into electric model trains. Stupid. Oh. 
I just hope her husband don't die. That's what I'm scared of. You know, in scary movies, the black niggas always dying. <laughs> like it never, it never fails. Bro, what the, bro? Ah, uh, oh my god, dog, bro, that shit was number one loud as fuck. Two unexpected as hell, cause like I'm thinking the same shit's gonna change or something else, bro. Fucking alarm goes off, like, bro. <laughs> oh my god, y'all trying to kill me, man? You would, you know, I mean. What the fuck? No, I heard that. What the fuck was that? But I was gonna say, I guess some people that do have alarms in their house, or some of them don't keep guns in the house. But I feel like you should. What the fuck? Oh no, bro. Yeah, at that point. I feel like I'm watching Scream right now. Sam, we've detected a door alarm. Yeah, uh, the, the back door of my house is open. Are you alone in the house, ma'am? Yes. Are you sure? Nah, facts. Are you sure? What? Are you sure you haven't let something inside, Rose? Don't do that. I'll hang up the phone. Look behind you. Nah! Hang up the oh, bro! Oh, see, now I'm scared. Now I'm, now I'm scared to play. This bitch said, turn around. Look, look behind you. No, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> look behind you. Hell no, I just run. <laughs> Fuck looking behind me. I'm gonna just run, dog. Bro, why y'all playing with me? Hello? This is First Line Security. May I have your name and the passcode? <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Damn, so you just gave your password to the fucking ghost, bro. Evening? <laughs> bro, I, nigga. Nah, get out. Even it, bro. What happened? That's how you pull up, nigga. What happened? Nigga, no, Mustache? honey, are you- Hold up. Now, nah, nah, honey, are you okay? Honey, what's going on? Like, is it like, nigga just, what happened? Come on, bro. Nigga, you making us look bad right now. Come on, bro. I need you to be more concerned. I literally don't remember doing it. I must have just like said it by accident or something. So she didn't even... By accident? So she didn't even set that motherfucker. That's crazy. Sorry, everything is okay. You sure? No, no, I'm fine. I was just venting. Okay. I feel, I'm gonna just get scared and, and feel bad when this nigga gets infected with the smile. I hope that doesn't happen. But because yeah. he's her husband, it's like, it's bound to happen. Bro, that's just, that's just seeing that shit is like traumatic, bro. <gasps> bro, what the f Oh my god. <sighs> but not a friendly smile. It's the worst smile I've ever seen in my life. And whenever I see it, I just get this yeah. god-awful feeling. Again, I'm glad you're taking notice now. No. Laura? Oh, hell no. Laura? I just said your name. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> nah, that's right. Oh. What the fuck? Fuck. God. What the fuck? Oh my god. <sighs> Bro. Nigga. <sighs> Hold on. Where, where my headphones at? Hold <sighs> okay, look. I knew it was going to be a jump scare. But like, it's the way you do a jump scare, bro. Because I thought what was going to happen was I thought that she was going to... Nigga. I thought that she was going to close the fucking laptop. Like, boo. Like, jump scare her like, in her face. Nigga, she came from the side, nigga. <laughs> Wasn't that her mom too? Her dead mother? Now watch, they're gonna start thinking she's crazy. It wasn't vulnerable, guilty, guilty. Well, she was my patient. She was a disturbed young woman you only met for 10 minutes. I mean, she was still her patient though. Yeah, corporeal and unsettling. Rose, from where I'm sitting, you don't seem delusional or disordered to me. Yeah, right now. A therapist need a therapist. That's crazy. What about the Risperdal? Just, you know, 
Let's talk again yeah. next week before we consider any medication. She said, yeah, so what's up with that Respidol? You know, can I get that or what? You know what I'm saying? Meantime, you can always call me. She fainted for that Respidol, sure. man. Ooh, that one's from Aunt Rose. Oh, okay, so that's what the train was for. Makes sense. What, what, what is it, bro? What did the ghost do, bro? <laughs> What the f- Yo! Oh what do you mean? Let's just move on, bro. No, 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 I promise you this wasn't me. It wasn't, it wasn't me. I was hoping nothing would happen at this party. You got me, you got me. What bro. the fuck are you? Leave me the fuck alone. In you front see of her. Bro, you have to see her, please, Holly, no. That's exactly what, 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 uh, what her patient was going through. And, they, and she was... She she was saying, "Are you are you sure?" She was look she was looking at her crazy. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like she, you made it seem like she sounded crazy. Now now you see how it feels. Need somebody, please. Oh, oh my God! Dion, wait, Dion. Dion. Oh yeah yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. Just yeah just. Rose, I'll be honest with you. I'm I'm concerned. And I, I mean this as your friend, but I really think you should speak to someone. Are you seeing anybody professionally right now? I'm trying to see how does this smile shit even work? Like, where does it stems from, bro? Because, like, with Truth or Dare, they explain how the game, how the game started, how the game was made, and how it tracked all of them, and how they got involved and shit. Whereas this one, I'm not understanding it. And it's like only 47 minutes in. They're going to have to really explain this shit. I need to tell you something. And I need you to know that uh, I'm shit. not crazy, okay? Okay. I don't get why he's not more concerned about her. He's Something. Like, I don't know, like, what the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to say to what, respond to this right now? Yeah, what can you say? Do you hear yourself? I mean, Jesus Christ, you sound crazy. I am not crazy! Sorry. <laughs> So is it. Chill out. As soon as I say something that like you want to say something, my damn, I can't, I can't have nothing. I wouldn't even close the door, nigga. No, fuck no. I wouldn't even close the door because the door is like opening inside, nigga. You gotta go. Fuck. Even if you wanted, to, even if you wanted to reach up, close that motherfucker. You, you're done. Oh, she in here too? What the fuck? Mrs. Every Munoz? Everybody in here. He was just seeing things. Doing strange things that he didn't even seem to remember. They asked me to identify his body. Yo, oh my, oh my god! His face! <laughs> I'm not even gonna run it back, because I'm pretty sure when I watch this over, I'm gonna see it again while editing, so. But my nigga, bro, my nigga tongue was just hanging. The teeth is, bro, oh god. I should take it all down, but. I can't stand being here. Well, I think you should take it all down. That way, you won't have to be in there anymore. No, it's like a waste of space. That is Gabriel's brother. He died in an accident 20 years ago. Gabriel never got over it. So you're saying, are you saying that this dark spirit or whatever feeds on people's trauma that they can't let go of, so they use it as a weapon to kill them? Is that what you're saying? You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. With her mom, her, cause she never get, got over the fact that her mom died, or it seemed like she gave her mom the wrong pills. So they're not really explaining it, but it seemed like she had something to do with her mom dying, or her mom, I don't know. But she never got over the fact that her mom died. Um, She's saying, like like the lady right here, she said her husband never got over the fact that her his brother died. And the other girl, that, her patient that killed herself, I don't remember her saying something about like, her not getting over the fact that she sees someone that she cared about died, but it seemed like trauma is what is what this this ghost or this dark spirit feeds feeds on, you know. So to me, out of my house. I want you out of my I, house please, now. Just, just please give me the name. Please, just give me the name. Get the fuck out of my house. Well, that didn't work. I would thought she'd be understanding and like, you know, but I'll help you. Maybe you can. Maybe you can figure out something that he didn't, you know? But I ain't gonna lie, she didn't have to be rude to her like that. Like, she said, like, you're a nutcase. Like, no, I'm not a nutcase. I'm just trying to tell you what, 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 he, what your husband went through, I'm going through right now, so maybe you can help me out. 
and I can avoid what he couldn't. Picture from the scene. Let me see it. No. Let me see it. No, no, no. look, you don't want to see this. This is this is like evidence. Or just, you know, have at it. We, we, I'm pretty sure she. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, that's terrible. Joel, you said you weren't going to ask me any questions. No, you said I wouldn't ask you any questions. Nah, Joel, really. I need your help. He's trying to find the link. Like, where all? Like, where is? How far does this lead back to? Because the girl that she went to see, I guess she was a student of the professor, and the professor is the same as the dude, the, the 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 Gabriel Munoz. He's the professor, and the professor saw that lady die. Which was Angela Powell? So Angela Powell, it's like we got to figure out where, how far does this lead back to? You know what I'm saying? Who's who's the who's the who's the, who's the, who's the originator from all of this shit? Nah, yeah, I'm glad they showed it from that angle. Oh my god! What is going on here? I'm so confused right now. Can you do me one more favor. Do you have a printer? Do like show proof to these people? Do I here? Hey. Hi, Rose. What is this? What is she doing here? I wanted to see how you were doing. I was talking to my fiance. Oh my God, okay. Well, oh, she's a therapist, so I'm pretty sure she gets spoke like, spoke like that to some patients, but golly. You're fine as long as everything is easy and agreeable, but God forbid anything nah, becomes real or even a tiny bit difficult. And and you just- Bitch up. You just think- If that's how you feel, then why are we even together? Damn. It's like every time, it's like every movie he play in, it's like he kind of plays the same like trope where it's like innocent, peacemaker yet instead of trying to deal with it he rather just like man he's just like trying to take the easy way out exactly. <laughs> no i don't I think she should be here i don't think this is a good idea honestly yeah, so it's fine it's Holly, fine. I just, I just go the fuck all right fine fine man like nigga this is my sister nigga if i don't want her here i think nigga, that's my decision not yours no no it, it's what killed mustache it was at the party yesterday but you couldn't see it nobody else can see it except for me Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, look, Holly. Why do I feel like the the picture's gonna be faded? Faded? You get, like in the evidence gonna be washed away? Some shit like that? Why do I feel like that's what's gonna happen? This is exactly what happened to mom. Are you serious? How the fuck would you know that? I'm sorry. What? You were never around when mom got bad. Where the fuck were you when she died? You have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, let's talk about I it. I had to fucking. Sorry that I'm actually trying to help people instead of being some fucking stay-at-home PTA housewife who lives in her own self-centered, smug little bubble. Now that's that, that's fucked up. I'm not doing this with you. You've completely traumatized Jackson. Okay. That, that's the worst part. Too. I can't have you around while you're like this. That's the worst part. Like, you got kids involved, bro. It's not her fault. It's the ghost. Like, bro, what do you want? You, you, you not done? What you got to say? Holly. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. You know what, bro? Oh, no, bro. Let's. No. Bro, what? Bro, oh, shit. Just. Nigga. Like, what the fuck? No, bro. Nigga. Even if I'm not watching this at night, I'm still gonna be scared to go to sleep now, bro. I'm it's like with such a it's like with a with a with a spirit like this, it don't matter where you are, you damn near not safe, bro. You're not safe at all. You could be at a police station, firefighter station. You're not you're not safe, bro. She going through it. All she did was see her patient die. And after that, she's been going through it ever since, bro. And ever since then, she has been seeing something. Something that pretends to be other people. Yeah, he's not trying to hear about that. Himself. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Why is it that everybody else who's seen it is dead and you're alive? It's good that he, even though he's in jail, it's good that he's still alive, nigga. If this would, if, if that was the only option to be dead or be in jail, hey, bro, he, he got the best option. The only option that was the best option. Damn. Your patient is going to die unless she kills someone. That's the only way you can get rid of it. Really? The only way. Oh. She has to make sure there's a witness for it to pass, too, because this thing needs trauma to spread. I, I, 
That's what gives it power. What did I just? I just said it. I. What did I just say? That. What did I just say, bro? Oh, I called it. I fucking called it, bro. Let's go. Make the biggest mess she can. I can't kill someone. Jeez. Damn. You, why we... you have it. See how they do black people, dog. See how they do black people. Even though I'm not trying to make it about race, but look at the look at the symbolism, dog. And she just fucked up by saying like, "I'm not, I can't kill somebody." She's like, he was like, "Wait, you have it, nigga? What the f bro?" What do you say? Nothing. Nothing. So who you gonna kill? That's what I want to know. I mean, her only two options is her fiance or Joel, really. If she was to kill someone, because killing a random person is like that'd be just fucked up. My former therapist is making unannounced house calls to ensure that I am not a danger. You can tell she losing sleep, nigga. She losing sleep like a motherfucker. Like... It's Madeline. I've been trying your mobile all morning. What I'm the fuck? I'm very concerned about how we left things yesterday. What the fuck? What? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. So the one on the couch is the is the is the imp imposter. Let's say that. You don't know who to trust no more, dog. Oh my god, nah. That shit is creepy, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, what can you do in this situation? Hey, Dr. Potter. Aren't you supposed to be on leave? Just grabbing something from my office. I forgot she had a fucking job, honestly. I ain't gonna lie that if she if she was to kill that nigga, it wouldn't it wouldn't seem right to me. <sighs> that was the Ooh. Hey, slice his neck while you at it shit. She, she said make it messy. I kind of had a feeling by like after like the second stab, I'm like this probably ain't real. And in real shit, why the fuck would you pull out the knife? Like why would you re reveal the knife in that way? That was so. That was like that was dumb as fuck. Nah, nigga pulled down. Ugh, this nigga pulled down his face. I'm like nah. At this point, it can't be real, bro. I don't even. I'm not running that back, bro. I'm not doing that. That's fucked up. Nah. Listen, Rose. I don't think you should go anywhere. Okay, you just relax. I'm gonna make a phone call. All right. Rose, don't go anywhere! Lord, I'm a monster! Damn, this is some scurvy shit! She said she gonna be alone. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it now. Because again, she never... That's why I said what I said earlier. If he's on trauma, then she never faced her trauma. looking at you is like yeah this is not real but rose your mind makes it real and and, and, and that's the problem right there so inviting see you gotta fight it bro oh hell no y'all remember on on it too when uh when the younger when I mean, the older girl went to go see that old lady bro and then she came out the room nigga that's what the fuck this is that's what i'm getting from this right now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i thought she was gonna get pulled away or some shit that's why i was waiting for it but damn dog oh god you can't escape oh your mind. That makeup design is insane. <laughs> I'm trying to save my comments for like until the until the movie's done. Even asking, but do you think that 
that I could stay here and just, just sleep. Yeah, cause she ain't been to sleep in days, nigga. Could you? Yeah, of course I'll stay with you. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. I'll stay with you forever. Oh, okay, yeah, see, I knew it was, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? <sighs> you got it. If mine fucked was a movie. Nigga, you mean to tell me all that shit that she just went through, none of that shit happened? Yes! Another yes. Day. If it ends right here, I'm gonna be pissed because it's like, what the fuck? Where do we go from here, bro? No, no! I'm confused. You did exactly what, what he wanted you to do. Nigga, I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to sleep tonight at all. Is that how it happens? No, no. Oh my god. So so that's how it happens? Rose! So it's so fucked up that you can't stop looking at it that you okay. The cycle continues. On some shit, she really could have survived, bro. Get it, nigga, get out of there. You know the cycle, nigga. Get the fuck out of there, bro. Get out of there, bro. I don't think he has any trauma, though, so he should be all right. <sighs> okay, um. Special effects 10 out of fucking 10. Number one, number two, so that that's how it starts. That's how it starts. If you ask me, there's, like, she really could have survived. She really could have survived, bro. The fucking ghost really mind fucked her, bro. Like, she really could have survived, bro. Her mind wouldn't allow her to, and she thought that, she thought that nigga was infected, but he was, he's infected now, probably. If they do a, if, if, well, considering that they did say they're gonna do a smile too, and if, if he's the main lead, he's fucked. Unless he has trauma, okay, but it don't seem like he has any trauma, so we might just go to a whole new group of characters and shit. But I didn't think she was gonna die, bro. I really thought she was gonna make it. And if you ask me, I would have ended it off like right after she killed like her trauma. I'm gonna say it like that. Right after she killed the trauma, from, and then you know what I'm saying, then then, like when she was driving away, let the window down. I would have ended it right there. Perfect ending. He said, Nah, fuck that. She ain't getting off easy. They never really explained how like where the shit stems from, other than like it feeds off trauma. But where does the the spirit itself. How does the spirit get attached to, to people's trauma? How does that work? Maybe I got. I, I'm gonna have to go back and hear it again. With, with, with what the lady said. The sister survived. Holly, she survived. The, uh, the, the her, her husband, well, fiance. Even though his role was small, again, this nigga plays the same role in almost all his shits. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I give it a cool nine out of ten. Nine, nine out of ten. But nigga, I ain't gonna lie. These were some nice ass jump scares too, by the way, because. I've seen a lot of scary movies in my day, and most of the jump scares are very telling before it happens. Open the fridge, and then the person gets them out the fridge, close the door, boom, the killer right there. Or you like, you're standing behind like, oh no, like you're in the bathroom, and like, you have like an open mirror, and then you like go behind like the mirror, grab what you need to grab, close the mirror, boom, the killer behind you. The whole like, open door frame, the music is boom, 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 boom. Stop, or it fades out. Turn behind, or you turn back around, the killer right there. Like, I, I've seen all that before. So this one was a bit different. Nobody was really falling. Every fucking five minutes, the killer was sick. Like, you know, the killer wasn't really, the killer was chasing them, but not on foot, you know what I'm saying? Even though this one didn't really need no chase scenes because it wasn't like a slasher type of film. But it was cool for what it was, you know what I'm saying? Still a good film, again, nine out of 10. I ain't gonna lie, it's just the ending just fucked me up, dog. I really thought that she made it out of the bitch. 
I'm mad, bro, because she was fighting for her life in this movie, bro, just just to lose it. That birthday party scene, oh, that that was fucked up. That birthday party scene was fucked up. I felt so bad for her. I felt so bad for her. And then, and then the cat, the cat got fucked up too, like, bro. But it was a lot of a lot of mind fuck scenes in this movie, dog. So that's wow. The whole thing with her. I thought she stabbed uh, the the uh, the patient Carl. I thought she stabbed that nigga, but it wasn't even real. And then the doctor came in, that nigga ripping his face off and shit. See, it's certain shit I can stomach and it's certain shit I can't. And I think one of my X Men videos, X Men ninety seven videos, uh, I think it was episode three. Yeah, I think it was episode three. When I said I don't like when shit like people body falling off and shit like that and people all gooey and shit. That type of shit I don't fuck with. But this, see, shit like this, this that, that, that's the furthest, that, like ripping your face off and shit, that's the furthest, furthest I could tolerate, you know what I'm saying? Well, most, that's the most I could tolerate. Niggas face melting and shit like that, I can't get behind it. Can't think of nothing else. I think that's about it for this, for this, uh, for, the, for this reaction and outro. So, if I forget anything, please comment down below. We're gonna talk about it in the comments. All in all, man, good movie salad movie, nine out of 10, man. If you guys like my reaction, please like the video, it helps out a lot. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the Patreon link down below if you want to see the full reaction to this video. Also, share the video and the channel as well. Until next time, stay lit.